In this video, we are going to locally install this new OCR model, which is quite powerful and at the same time quite lightweight and is specialized to convert documents into clean, structured markdown. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. This new model is trained to understand document structure and content context like tables, equations, images, plots, watermarks, checkboxes and lot of other stuff and we are going to thoroughly test it out after getting it installed. This model NanoNets OCR is a lightweight 3 billion VLM or vision language model that is specialized in markdown. It, it can also do the recognition of latex equations plus image descriptions, signature detection, as I said watermark extraction and then even it can store it with some of the watermark tag for traceability which I believe would be very very useful in lot of AI powered applications. It can also deal with smart checkbox and radio button handling plus you can do complex table extraction which means if your table is multi row multi column table it will try to preserve structure as much as possible. You can not only output in markdown but also in the html format. So let's begin to get it installed. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and I have this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me start by creating a virtual environment. If you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM on very very affordable prices, you can find the link of mass compute in video's description plus i am also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpus so please do check them out our virtual environment is almost done let's now git clone the repo of this model and i, and I will drop the link to it in video's description once that's done you can install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo from here you can either go with pip or even you can go with uv doesn't really uh, matter and while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are matrix matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as a b test for your marketing captions that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies. This is going to take a couple of minutes, I believe. And all the prerequisites are now done. Now you can launch the web demo with the help of this command from the root of the repo. In the first time when we run it, it downloads some model. There are two shards of it. And the model is now downloaded. Let's access this demo in our browser at localhost at port 7860. And you can see that now the NanoNets OCR is running. And now I am going to try it out on various things like latex equations and all that stuff. So let me go to my local system and from there I will start checking it out. So first, let's check it out on this equation let's extract the text and i'm also going to check the vram consumption so it is consuming around 8417 meg of vram which is not bad at all for this level of model okay so let's check this out yep it is done the adjective and then this is the equation which it has properly denoted and that is what it also promised it has also done the boxed one which is good there is a fraction so you can see it has done a quite a wonderful job not only it has maintained all the equations but also all the mathematical notations okay that is pretty good let's check out maybe first i'm going to go with the chart let's see there are a few of the uh, stuff on the vertical and horizontal axis there you go and i have let it run so that you would see also see the speed so yes there is an image and it is telling us a bar chart 
showing performance metric in set page yep that's right this is a set page across different cpu and gpu configuration which is also right and by the way this is from the docklink paper so you know really thanks for to them for this table the access tab uh, the x axis labels are these y axis are these which is correct and the legend is also there so it has also given us the proper tagging which is very nice okay let's try out another one okay i am going to go with a go with a hard equation this time as you can see it is pretty hard there is a lot of stuff in it around latex and that there you go so it has ocr'd it pretty well and then it is also telling us what exactly is equivalent to what in above there you go very nice perfectly awesome okay so equation is quite good i can already tell i believe we already have no no we haven't done this one let okay let's check the, i think we already did that one yep so this is the one already did let's check it again i was meaning to do this one okay so this is a bit harder as you can see there are multiple uh, some esoteric notations on the especially on the right hand side and i'm quite curious about this so let me quickly check it out so there's a wide hat that is what i was uh hoping it would do and it has wonderfully done that so add and four you can see that this is add and four amazing stuff so it has also told us that this is a list and it has told us where exactly the list is ending and where it is starting pretty good okay so let's check out the invoice hopefully i can make it bigger so this is a bigger invoice so this is in the invoice we are checking let's wait for it okay, interestingly enough for the pdf one it is taking uh, and the invoice one it is taking a long a long time and these are all image files and i have tried a couple of times but it just keeps going on i have waited for five minutes but it hasn't really done this invoice so i'm just going to reload this and maybe try with another image i think i already have another invoice let me check where that we have the paid invoice let's check this one if it can do this this is another invoice okay so this one has worked so might be an issue with my image but look at this one this is actually quite interesting so i will just quickly show you the invoice again so this is invoice with all the usual stuff and this is from the free templates of canva and there's a watermark of paid here now let's check it out you see it has done wonderfully well in extracting all the data in the tabular format and all that stuff and you see it has given the tag of watermark with a paid one this is really good and this is what i referred to earlier when we're talking about it great stuff okay let's check it out maybe some of the tabular data a bit more so this is the math one uh, what i'm checking so it's a table but with math equations let's check it out there you go i'll just go up so it's html also has been provisioned instead of markdown and if i quickly review it looks wonderfully well yep all good so tab tables and math looks really really good okay maybe i'll just check out with this pipeline this is just an image with the pipeline and again this is a toggling one let's check it out there you go so it has identified that there are images you see there is a icon and logo of pdf then there are some images pdf pipeline ocr structure some more images and their labels and there is also a watermark like document with a smiling face interesting and that primarily is the toggling one okay that's nice okay let's check out maybe the plot so this is a plot there you go so if i quickly check it out yep has done wonderful job 
so you can see it can deal with different sort of data in a very nice quick way and maybe i will just go with this uh, last one for the math and then i will also show you a handwriting one and then i will, we will check the multilinguality so let's see what it does with this math equation and it is a bit hard i'll also make it a bit bigger so that you can see it there's a lot of scale roots and all that stuff and there you go it took a bit of a time but i think it has done a wonderful job again so all the equations are there in the mathematical notation i don't think so it has missed anything there pretty good okay so that is nice let's do a handwriting one okay let's check this one out so this is some handwritten notes in english and there is also some cutting and if i quickly check it out yep it has done wonderfully well amazing stuff very very nice okay so that is good now let's do some multilinguality so first up i'm just going to go with german i will also show you this german so this is what we are going to do the ocr with let's wait for it yep looks pretty good to me i'm just checking it visually and of course if you are that language speaker i would also need your advice and i will take your word for it but visually checking looks quite good in terms of german and then i will just do a few of these not all of those but let's check it out let's do indonesian so this is a image which i'm going to do the ocr with there you go yep visually looks pretty good to me amazing stuff it is multilingual too which is very very nice primarily it is just taking the image of course let's check the hindi one the speed is quite nice i really really like the speed and this is the hindi one if i visually compare it with this hindi then i think it looks pretty good to me maybe this character for example if you look at this second last character this character is a bit different than the one it has produced here so i'm not sure about this hindi one but if you're a hindi speaker please advise okay so let's check out an arabic one this is arabic yep that looks pretty good to me okay let's check out another one i don't think so it is natively multilingual but anyway i'm not really sure but i couldn't find that information let's check out this simplified chinese yep that looks pretty good as you can see if you visually compare okay let's check out maybe i will in dot kind of funded i can't do all of them but i'm trying to cover as much as possible so this is a multi one it contains a lot of languages like russian like japanese chinese hindi a few other languages like french so let's see yep looks pretty good to me in terms of all the languages as are they are here okay let's check out maybe i'll go with urdu so this is a urdu let's check it out here okay i have just checked it out i don't think so it has done a good job in terms of urdu so just like hindi there are a lot of misses here okay that is fine okay i'm just checking if any other language i have maybe we'll go with swahili to understand so this is a swahili i think this should be good enough because of english characters yeah looks pretty good to me so look pretty impressive model let me know what do you think uh, very keen to hear your thoughts on it if you like it please like the video share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for watching